picture. It's not a real good environment down there right now, Peyton said. Everyone's walking around on eggshells. I don't recognize our building right now. So many of them have been such a big part of so many big wins here, and this is so sudden. Their keys didn't work the next day. There's no other way to do it. I don't know. That's hard to see all these people leaving, and I may be behind them. Who knows? You know, I don't think it's in a good interest, um, you know, to paint the horseshoe in a negative light. You know, I really don't. Uh, um, you know, uh, he's such a big part of that and, and everything else. You know, the horseshoe always comes first, and I think one thing that he's always known, because um, he's been around it so long, is you keep it in the family. You know, you, you keep it. Um, if you got a problem, you talk to each other. It's, it's not about campaign or anything like that. Neither side is happy with the situation or even one another these days. It's not that you can really blame Hearsay. He's due to write another check to Manning in early March, this time for $28 million. Without knowing when or even if Peyton is going to risk playing again, remember, three neck surgeries, he could be one hit away from being carded off the field for good. Would you hand out that kind of money? The other elephant in the room, of course, would be that number one overall pick the Colts possess. Many expect Stanford's Andrew Luck to be chosen first, and if Luck is going to Indy, can the two quarterbacks coexist? Most people believe the answer to that is no. So just like Peyton from the sidelines this year, we're all left watching and waiting to see what year state will do. Don't be surprised if one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time is pushed out of the very city he single-handedly put back on the map.